Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Daily Wrap for Saturday, the 26th of March, 2022. A little bit of a weird day because my schedule had been shuffled around for a double new release day yesterday, which means that the stuff that I usually do on a Friday night had to be pushed to today, which kind of shuffled the schedule around, and it definitely showed with the amount of people who kind of showed up and supported. Let's talk about that a little bit, shall we? On today's pre-stream podcast, there wasn't much to talk about outside of what I thought about the two new releases that I had played this week, Ghostwire Tokyo, as well as Kirby and the Forgotten Land. For a nice little summary, check out the pre-stream podcast from earlier today, where I kind of cover my initial thoughts about Egypt, either game, or both games, I guess I should say. Um, <clears throat> then we did some Q&A, which was always fun. Uh, first stream was Elden Ring. Good news here is that I've basically completed all of the side stuff in Elden Ring that we've been doing for almost a week. If you remember, we, at the very beginning of this week, unlocked the Upside Down Carrion Study Hall, the Forgotten City of Nokron, and then another co Forgotten City of Noxtella. And between all of that, there's a ridiculous amount of side content that was optional. But I did all of it. And I finished it today, fought a really epic boss fight. I won't spoil what the boss was because it's actually probably one of the more notable bosses in Elden Ring. Um, and it came to a big climax and an ending. When I finished, basically the game teleported me into the middle of the freaking capital city. And I'm like, I mean, I could do it, but I haven't done the Atlas Plateau, which is the entrance to this area. I haven't done Volcano Manor, which I already know existed because I already found a fast travel way to get over there earlier in the game. Like, there's all this stuff I haven't done yet <clears throat> that's supposed to basically be the lead into the capital. So I felt like I shouldn't do it, so I went back to Atlas Plateau and immediately ran into a quest line that teleported me to Volcano Manor. I dicked around in Volcano Manor for a bit. I did a couple optional boss fights, and I ended the game today with a rage-inducing finale where I was trying to get to a boss you guys were telling me about, and I had technical difficulties where my capture device decided to crap out, but I don't really think it's the device. I think it's the USB cable with the thing. is very old and having issues. Um, I had to restart my whole setup. Wasted about 10, 15 minutes of the stream, and by the time I came back, I got to the boss you guys wanted me to fight, fought him for about 5, 10 minutes, not even, and I was like, well, I'm out of time. So now we have to reassess and basically do it again when I play again on Monday, which sucks that we have to wait, but it is what it is. Um... So on Monday, I will continue to explore this area of Volcano Manor slash wherever the hell I even am right now, uh, and, and onwards, I guess, towards the Atlas Plateau and the, the capital city. Uh, should be fun, all right? It's a cool, because now I have crazy builds that I can do. I can just go between this crazy uh, Erd Tree Spear that I have that's really powerful, or I can use this giant sword that has the black flame ability, or I could go back to my gold halberd. I have all these options for weapons now, which is really cool. Um, so that was, it was a good stream, but a lot of rage. Some of the bosses really pissed me off today, but that's par for the course, right? Then the late stream tonight was old school Street Fighter. Normally I call it Friday Night Fights. Obviously it's not Friday, so I called it Saturday Night Smackdown. And people were like, oh, Smackdown, what is this, wrestling? No, it just rhymes with, it, it's like alliterates... With Saturday, Saturday Smackdown. I guess I could have called it Saturday Slam. I could have called it Saturday Night Slam because there used to be a game called Saturday Night Slam Masters. I didn't even think about that. Oh, well. Anyway, we played on PlayStation this week. Um, Admittedly, not the best experience. We had about 90 minutes of good gameplay and actually the return of Shell Ryukin. For those who don't remember, Shell Ryukin is quite a good Dudley player in Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. I used to play him all the time in this collection. And I guess what happened is his work schedule changed and wasn't able to really join and play uh, the nights when I was playing anymore. Um, so he played tonight, which was nice. It was nice to get a few matches against him. But about 90 minutes in, now I can't find anyone anymore. Jose joined and starts trolling me. All kinds of dumb shit. Um, it is what it is. Uh, support was not great. Support was actually incredibly slow. We had like maybe $10 of Super Chats. I think we made $30 in tips. Uh, it's not, you know, the end of the world. I had a really good Elden Ring stream, so I'm not going to complain. But I just hope that's not the case moving forward every week. Reason being, we still got about two months of this collection until the new one is going to be coming out in mid-June. And that new one is not made by the same people who made this 30th anniversary collection. It's a different group of people. Thank God. This collection, called the Capcom Fighting Collection, will have all the versions of Darkstalkers plus Hyper Street Fighter 2 Anniversary Edition, which I'm excited for because that's the one I played competitively in 2006 and was really good at. Although, admittedly, I haven't played it in a while. I'd have to relearn the stuff, but I think it'll be a fun experience, okay? Anyway, yeah, we still got two months of this. And it was funny because at the end of the night, some people were like, well, maybe you should just alternate and not do it every week. But, like, 
I, I really miss, I miss old school Street Fighter if I don't play it. I crave it at least once a week, and I wish that I could keep it in the rotation but still have it be supported, but I don't know. Maybe it's just it's run its course when it comes to that. I don't know. Anyway, give all the videos today a look. Please like them if you watch them. Thank you for everything. Um, tomorrow, we swing back to the new releases. It's going to be Ghostwire Tokyo on the first stream and more of Kirby and the Forgotten Land on the late stream. I'm very excited because Ghostwire, I'm intrigued to see what's going to come in the game the more I play it. And Kirby, I loved. I thought Kirby was so good when I played it last night. So I can't wait to play it again tomorrow, all right? Good stuff, guys. Thank you so very much. I will see you all in the AM for a full day of new release streaming. Thank you and have a good night. Peace out.